Okay, this is a quick video on adding alternative or alt text to an image. This is especially important if you're working for the government. All images on websites need to have alternative. This is a quick video on adding alternative text or alt text to an image. This is especially important if you're working for a government agency. There are laws that you do need to make sure that you have alternative text on any web page images. So let me go ahead and insert an image. Let me save my document first. File, save. I'll save it to my root folder. And I'll just call it alt text. and save. I'm going to put my cursor right here and I'm going to go insert image and I'm going to navigate to my image folder. I'll just grab one of these bare images and open it. If I click on the image, okay, and when I do, I get the property palette down here that swaps for images. Note in this area you've got alt text. This is where you're going to want to add a description of your image. So I'm just going to put brown bear. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click in. If I look at the code here, it has added alt text. So again, if somebody's viewing this web page that has this image, they will know what it is, even if their vision is impaired. Let me do that one more time. I'll add another bear image or just another image. So I'll go insert image and I will do cookies this time. I'll do, I'll do the bird. Okay, there's the bird. When I select the bird, again, I get an area where I put alt text. So I'm gonna type yellow bird. And my return key. If I look in here, the alternative text is now visible.